2018 was an extraordinary year. The big headline is this has been our safest year ever as a hospital. More than anything, I'm impressed that we've held together and that uh, we haven't lost track of our mission at all and you know that we are producing safer care than we've ever produced despite all of the challenges that we face as we work our way through this transformation. So it's been a challenge, but I think more than anything, we've, we've really risen to the occasion. 2018 has been a really good year for security enhancements as well. For example, we now have an armed uh, police officer on campus 24-7. We've added visitor badging. We've also invested a lot of time and resources in working with our OTP sites all around the city to make them safer as well. So this is the year where we revived our service awards uh, and were able to bring together our staff and acknowledge their uh, in many cases, decades-long commitment to the Bethesda community. For the new hospital, we've now entered what's called the design and development phase. And this is where we get to bring our staff together uh, with our architects and our planners and, and really go into detail on, you know, how can we make this hospital work really, really well for patients and for staff. You know, I, I think the most important work that we do is to figure out how to support our staff and our physicians so that they can do their best work. And this year we learned that we needed to spend a lot more time rounding on all shifts and on the weekends as well, really hearing about what people are facing, what gets in the way, uh, so that we could, we could do a better job of addressing those issues. In 2019 we're going to continue that work um, and our goal really is to go from uh, focusing on understanding and solving problems um, acutely to really thinking about how do we create better systems and how do we get our people involved in designing those systems so that the work becomes easier and more sustainable over the long term.